What's up guys? It's uh, 7.45 a.m. here in Tulum. It's um, raining a lot, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but yes, it's raining a lot. And we are heading out of here. Unfortunately, we got a really crazy cold front now in town, which doesn't make anything fun for anyone. So since we're in Mexico, we're just gonna go to the hot part of Mexico. See you soon. that I'm trying to record this video. I just got this new microphone for this trip and I'm still trying to figure out how to use this. Um, people at the lounge are probably thinking that I'm crazy because I'm repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Anyway, we're here at Cancun <laughs> at the International Airport. We made it back uh, in a very smooth way. The road was great. Uh, even though it was raining a lot, the road was empty. You know, everyone is at home celebrating Christmas probably with their families. They're not like sad, lonely, gay man with no family and <laughs> no religion. So we're here, uh, safe and sound at the lounge. Uh, Sven is over there, FaceTiming his mama to wish her a Merry Christmas. I am very full right now because I ate so much. Uh, we got here at breakfast time and we were lucky enough to have breakfast and now they switched the entire buffet I have lunch and of course I had to eat again because free food. <laughs> Other than that, um, I'm happy. I'm looking forward to switch scenario a little bit. It's kind of a pity that you know we had to leave uh, Tulum so early. It's a beautiful place. It's gorgeous. I loved it. But it's kind of pointless, right, to stay at a beach place if um, all you have to do there is beach and lay on the sun and then all of a sudden all of that is gone. So we kind of felt a little bit trapped and with not many options or things to do there. You know, if getting some good weather and enjoying the beach means flying to the other side of the country, we're gonna do this, you know? <laughs> it's our vacation, the time of the year that Sven and I really wanna just like chill, not think about work, have a good time. And we got out of Dallas because it was really cold there. So I'm not gonna not have a good time. And no, we're gonna do this. We're gonna uh, go to Puerto Vallarta. It's my first time there. I only hear good things from the gays, so I'm excited to see what this place is all about. So we just made it to Puerto Vallarta and what's up there? Sun! Finally good weather. Yes! Accomplished. Um, we finally get it to the beach. The weather is perfect. It's sunny, it's hot, it's tropical, and no more rain, finally. And we had a great day so far, very productive. We woke up early, I went to the beach, did my morning cardio, then I headed to the gym, did a great leg workout. I'm pretty destroyed right now. Then groceries, I stocked my apartment with healthy food. So now I can stay on the diet during my stay here. And now all I have to worry about is sitting in this chair, enjoying the sun, enjoying the sea breeze. And thank you. Ah. Yes, come on vacation. I'm ready for you. So if you guys don't know um, Puerto Vallarta, this is a um, city here 
on the west coast of Mexico, so it's the you know, Pacific Ocean, obviously. It's not crystal clear water like Tulum, where we were before, but it's really pretty still. So it's really pretty. Um, Canadians and American tourists to come here uh, during winter because it's December and it's hot. Like the temperature is perfect right now. Um, so it's just a ride skate for, you know, gay tourists to come here. It's a really safe place. I felt very safe so far. There's nothing sketchy about it. They made it super gay friendly. Everywhere we go, you know, you even see like pharmacies and um, I even saw like a medical office where they say, oh, we take American and Canadian insurances here. So they make it very, very easy for um, tourists to come and feel uh, welcome. decided to do something different today and get out of the gay universe for a little bit and enjoy the nature here in PV um, and Sven had a great idea of booking a whale watching tour it's not like we had a lot of options everything else was booked but um, I, I love animals and I think it's gonna be fun and why we're we gonna see whales today why yeah well they're all here to give birth so the whales that live in the Pacific Ocean, kind of near the you know the west coast of the United States, uh, they feed in around Alaska, and then they swim pregnant to the um, the bay here, mm. um, here in um, Mexico, and to give birth. So every whale that we're gonna see here, pretty much, is gonna have a baby whale uh, with them right now. So it's like a, almost like a maternity, like it's a pre. A, it's a nursery. Yeah. A nursery. <laughs> <Whale> <laughs> nursery. <laughs> Cool. Oh, that sounds very romantic. So let's uh, let's entertain those moms while you invade their privacy. However, you want to see that. <laughs> I'm excited to show a little bit of um, that side of PV to you guys. It's not only gay beach, and it, there's way more to do here. So stay tuned, and you're gonna see a lot today. for safety reasons of course because they're, because they're massive animals these images you will see right now are very impressive these experiences that you'll never forget. We came here not even expecting to see any whales at all and even the tour guide said you know they do whatever they want to do and we will see what we're gonna find out and so far it's been an amazing journey. Uh, we saw whales fighting for females, we saw uh, whales mating, we saw whales dancing, whales jumping out of the water uh, and it's just a humbling experience 
know, just see how huge and gigantic nature is and how big these animals are. And it's our duty to protect this planet and continue to see these beautiful, beautiful images around us.